Another good game took place tonight up in Jasper as the Bulldogs hosted the Kirbyville Wildcats. Bragging rights were on the line in this one early in the week. We heard Kirbyville head coach Greg Neese yeah. saying that this could be the Walmart rivalry because when his <laughs> players go to the Jasper Walmart, his team will hear about it if they win or lose. To Bulldog Stadium, head coach Daryl Barbe hoping his team ruins the Wildcats' next few trips to Walmart, of course. Good free advertising there, Mike. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so Jasper is ready to go. Kirbyville ready to go as well in this one. We'll pick things up early on for Jasper, though. Steven Walker, he'll throw the ball deep to Jonathan Limbrick on their first possession of the game, and Jasper is up 7 to nothing, just like that. Jasper would add on a field goal. Kirbyville then trying to come back. Here comes the Kyle Henson pitch to Terion Smith. Well, there's the field goal actually right there. That's not a pitch. It's a pitch through the uprights, right, isn't it? <laughs> sure. so, so there it is. Actually, it's an extra point. 7-7 <laughs> seven, seven is one of those. Kyle Henson then pitches to Terion Smith. Smith will go all the way down, but then it's Kerryon Cooper who comes up with the long ball, and just like that, the Wildcats are in the red zone. Jasper with the touchdown at saving tackle. Great hustle there. But then it's Clayton Sexton who would get in the end zone for a touchdown. The extra point by Raphael Briz, and that evens the score at seven apiece. And there's the extra point going through the upright. Seven to seven at this point. Steven Walker then for Jasper. Well, he'll take the handoff here, and he'll cut down to the right side. There he is. Nice moves here by Walker. A huge opening, and the Bulldogs are back in stride again. Terrence Cooney will then get the handoff. And then Stephen Walker, and he runs towards the sideline for a touchdown. A huge play there by Jasper. Then the rain comes down like it did across quite a few areas tonight, Mike. Yeah, up there towards the lakes for sure. Can't stay. Oh, that looks like a torrential downpour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get out your windshield wipers and way home from that game. Curryville then, Terion Smith bobbles the ball, and it's loose. DeAnthony Carey for Jasper recovers it. The score in this one, Jasper just whips up on Kirbyville. Final score, 53-13. to Rough Walmart experience now for Kirbyville.